Yes. Are you excited? Yes. Yay. Me too. Wow. Yay. It is part of the Lazy River, but I think it... Okay, fast lane. We should get that today. We'll see. I think all this was covered. I think they took out the covered structure. Step. Yeah, they took it down because this was all covered. Hey guys, welcome back to Suitcase Princess. We are here for our first trip of the season um, to Schlitterbahn Galveston. Some big changes. They have taken down all of what, it looks like they have taken down the entire like structure of, they had areas you could like go in. That's all gone. Big changes around this park. We're gonna do our best to show them to you today. They've been open on the weekends for about a month, like since spring break. And this is the last weekend of April. They also have a promo, you guys know, we're pass holders, um, where you get like the fast lane um, usage, which is not something I've ever seen here before. I know Schlitterbahn New Braunfels called it the blast fast. So we'll try it out. We'll see, we'll let you know how it goes. It's partial park operations. I just took a picture of what's open and what's not. The hours are 11 to six. We've just barely beat through the gates. A massive, massive school field trip. So, guys, today we're going to bring you along for Galveston Shooter Run, first one of the seasons here in 2022. So, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. We are going to get screened and get going. Ah! Oh, you do? This friend has no jumper this time. No jumper! Hey guys, Shawnee here. I'm gonna apologize now. I've got notes written down on paper and the kids are just in the other room watching something so you may hear some background in this video. Okay, right here we're walking around. There's a great covered area as soon as you enter the park that has wonderful picnic tables. Guys, you really do. Take your food, take a cooler, find a table you like that is devoid of stuff and that becomes your spot. You can mark it out, you can set your stuff down, you can live there for the day. Watch the bread and chips because the birds are aggressive. Look at that right there when we saw that shot of Wasserfest, you can see that the building structure is totally gone, which is crazy. My husband had just told me, there's the changing rooms, that they had refinished these bathrooms. So I'm gonna give you just a little quick shot just right inside the door because they did in fact refinish them. They look great. They're also always so cold, so cold with the AC. All right, here's the map with park operation you can see and you can see they've redone it because they they took down that building structure, which you can see still seems to cover the tiny little play area in the back. We didn't actually make it back there this time. Watch this, watch this. Tall enough for no life jacket, woo woo. And here we are, we are swimming. This year we did go ahead and do like a two week intense swimming course because we knew the babes were about to get in the pool and we hadn't done swimming lessons since before the big old C word. So it was nice to have that little bit of a refresher knowing that we were about to be back in the water all the time. And as you can see, my kids are maybe part fish. I think it is a little nuts how confident they are in the water. I personally love it because I am not confident in the water, not even a little bit. Both of them started swimming lessons at about four months old. Look at this. Now, you're gonna think that the video cuts out here. Look at this darkness. It does not. It was really that dark. This is a real time slide. This is the Guadalupe that is adjacent to the Loopy Luge and our first use of the fast lane. The fast lane was pretty amazing. I don't know that it's something I would ever pay for. I like that it's like a wristband and you go whenever you want. In New Braunfels, they do the blast pass and it's basically you like reserve a time and come back. So I think that this kind of, um, you know, just wearing the wristband and getting in the front whenever is, is a much easier way to do things. Um, but let's go over prices really fast. So you guys know we have the two park pass, which is 125. Um, it gets us into Galveston and New Braunfels. A one park pass is 110. So with a difference of $15, we know we're definitely gonna do both. We might as well just just do both. I mean, it's such a negligible difference in cost. They do have meal deals all the way from souvenir cups that you can refill up to all season dining if you have a season pass. Here's the fast lane. Look at this. So many of these rides are already equipped with this kind of second walkway that they just made it the fast lane. And so it's really easy to just walk right up there. Super cool. This is the wolf pack. We could all four go together, which was really fun. 
because the girls were small, this worked out. Um, anyway, so they do have meal deals all the way from just the souvenir cup up to all season, all the time dining. Um, and then single day tickets start at, it says from $39.99. So I do think it adjusts based on park availability, demand, peak season. Um, and then the fast lane is from $30. Again, I think that price is uh, adjusted. Certain days are a little higher probably. They do give you discounts on groups and uh, military discounts. So be sure if those apply to you that you take advantage of that. Uh, now, the parks are only open Saturday and Sunday right now with partial park operation. Not everything's open until May 19th. And then they start picking up Thursdays. And then they start going to on the weekends being full, full park operation. Okay, this is a great reason to come to Schlitterbahn is that you can bring your own food. You can even bring an ice chest. Just don't bring alcohol or glass. But that's it. You can bring your own food. And you just leave it right here at a table. Take it out. And then this is your home. This is it. This is where you live. And you can have all your own food. You don't have to spend money. It saves you a ton of money. Okay, so in about the second week of June is when they pick up that full park operation, even on the weekdays. I love the view from the top of these towers. We went up the same uh, fast pass lane you saw a minute ago, and this is just goes to the other rides. You can access both the Wolfpack and the Thunder Tub. Now, this one uh, was like a two-person limit. So Marilyn and I rode this one together and it's just kind of like straight down. It's hilarious. I didn't manage to get her face in the shot of these, um, but it's like absolute terror. It was so... Fun, so fun. If your kids don't like water in their faces, let me suggest just parenting tip goggles. Goggles make a difference. Look at look at this. Look at this crazy kid. She's such a confident swimmer this year. Um, my kids have always been just really comfortable in the water, which I really like. I'm really glad that we invested in the swimming lessons and things like that because again, I am not a confident swimmer, not at all. Um, I just naturally float really well, so I've never been a good swimmer, so I'm so glad that they have that skill. Uh, here at Schlitterbahn, this is like the beachy access area into the Lazy River. Now guys, look at this. We've never done, it's called the Boogie Bond and it is like a perpetual surfing thing. I've never done it. I've always been too scared, one, to look dumb, two, to have like my pants fly off, or three, I'm just not a strong swimmer. Uh, it's really important that you make sure that your swim attire fits really snug. We saw a lot of people while we were standing here get real, real inappropriate. So cinch those shorts up way too tight, guys, because if not, we see jibisness, okay? Look at that. She just washes out. She's the first one of us to go. Like, she's so brave. It's so crazy to me. Not even six yet. And she was just like, I got this. So um, a terrifying amount of confidence around the water. So we'll definitely have to keep an eye on that for sure. All right. This is my firsthand account. I got the camera sideways, so I tried to adjust. Again, I've never done this. I am not a confident swimmer. It gave me, like, I told my kids, like, if you try it, the mommy will try it. So here we go. Did I look like a fool? Probably. Was it amazing and exhilarating and super fun? Absolutely. I highly recommend it. We have never done it. And I don't know that I would wait in the line for it. I know the line for this Boogie Bond attraction at uh, Schlitterbahn New Braunfels gets so long. Like they have stadium seating to watch this. Like there's like a stadium seating right in front of the, the area where you do this because people sit there and watch. The line is so long. But having that uh, free fast lane surely made this like a, a manageable wait time for us for sure. So it was nice. It was fun. I'm so glad we tried it. I think my kids would love to do it again. I don't know if I'll do it again. I'm glad I did it. It was so fun and just not something I would have had the confidence to do otherwise. So, you know, it's, it's peer pressure getting talked into it by my not a peer five-year-old kid, but you know, whatever works, whatever works. Okay. So I completed my run and then Amelia did it. Amelia got to go three times. So the first time she kind of goes off to this little shallow area off here on the left of the screen. The next time she made it all the way out to the right and had to exit all the way out to the right. And then the third time he was nice and let her go again. She was like a little pro. Check this out how long she lasts. It's so amazing, guys. It was so fun. I'm so glad we tried it. Um, following up after this is dad. Now, one of the things that they didn't have open, which 
both at Schlitterbahn Galveston and at Schlitterbahn New Braunfels. My absolute favorite thing, it's called uh, the White Falls here. It's the Aquavare um, and the Falls ride at New Braunfels, but it's basically like a giant conveyor belt that you ride up in a tube. It's so stinking fun. I love it. It's my favorite. It wasn't open and it takes you through like a little, um, like a little white water rapids kind of thing. My absolute all-time favorite ride. I love them. I love them. I love them. And it wasn't open. And in the times that we've been going to Schlitterbahn Galveston, it hasn't, it's like it's not always open it's like maybe half the time this is a little bonsai pipeline just these three little slides right here as you can see my little one is tall enough now she kind of hits the brakes when she comes down her head doesn't even go under anymore so I mean that's quite the adjustment for this mom for sure uh right there in the background you can see the caban us and you can rent those out privately and uh just have a nice there's like a safe and you get special like kind of bar service stuff like that this is the dragon ride which I've not done here before but it's similar to the master blaster where it whacks your hiney super hard with water and shoots you back up um a little rough on the hind end, but you know, not so bad. Uh, there's several rides here, several uh, slides and things, the bonsai pipeline being one, and then this one uh, where you have to take your shoes off or, you know, goggles off or loose articles off. We don't normally do the body slides because I don't know if my kids are confident enough. They probably are to do the really tall body slides. My husband loves them. I do not like body slides. Again, my water issues, I think, come into play there. Look, look at that. Ah! Um, as you can see, this is like, I don't know, two and a half, three feet deep. So it's, it's nice. And the water's not moving too crazy. You do round this corner right here where the white water kind of comes, merges back in where it does get a little bit more swift moving for sure. And then there's a spot on the other side where it, the waves really pop out. Now this is a fun little like kid play area where they can just play and you can, it's all kind of like roped in. And so you can stay in one spot and they're safe. Um, and there's the, uh, the prohibitive items and the sign on the way back out. Okay guys, so that was our season opener at Schlitterbahn Galveston. Um, it was great, it was fun, it was really crazy that they took down all the building structure. I mean, it was nice, it made it a lot more open. It also like really changed my perspective on how big the place is, but um, that was fun. I would have liked it if the back half had been open. I think we, at some point I saw some people on one of the towers, but we didn't even go back there. Um, it was nice having the little like fast lane thing. I don't know what that retails for. Like I said, it was included in our pass today. So I don't know, I'll have to look into that. But that was it, we had a great time. There were a lot of field trips there. So that, money, cashless. Oh, that's right. They did swap to an entirely cashless system. They have like these little machines where you can load money onto like their cards. Um, so keep that in mind if you're coming and yeah, you can do Google Pay and Apple Pay with that. Um, other than that, I think that's it, guys. As always, I hope you found this helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. We are going to head just up the road and enjoy some Rudy's barbecue because, well, that's a post-Schlitterbahn thing that we do.